Hey guys, what's up? It's Howie, and today the NASCAR 2014 game debut trailer was released, and pretty much it shows Tony Stewart, the guy that's on front of in the front of the game, for the beginning part of it, and then at the end part of it, you see some gameplay, 15 seconds of it, and at the very end, you see the cover, and you see what what systems it's coming out for. So you see it's coming out for the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, and the PC. Wait, 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 wait. I I think they're forgetting something. Let's see, Xbox 360, PC, PlayStation 3. Oh, oh, I think they forgot the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. You know those consoles are selling like hotcakes right now? You know, those consoles that just came out? Well, well, I, I don't know what they're doing with this exactly. I don't know if they just want it to be an Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, you know, game. Uh, maybe, maybe they think they have a broader audience on this side. But, um, I mean... I just kind of think it's a no-brainer for them, for them to do this. Um, I mean, it shouldn't be hard, because honestly, it should be easier to port it from the PC to the newer consoles, because they, their architecture is more like a PC, than the Xbox 360 and the PS3, because they're, you know, they have to dumb it down on them, so they can so the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 can run them. But for the Xbox One and the PS4, it's caught up with the PC for right now. So it should be easier to port it over. I don't know why they're not doing that. You know, it, it it would it would be to a more broader audience. You know, it it would be a chance of them getting more sales. And I know it costs money for them to make the cases and the discs and more advertising, but it's worth a shot because they could be making millions of more dollars on this. Because I mean, I mean, a lot of people that played their games have already moved over to these new consoles, and they're not going to spend fifty dollars on a game for the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty or the PlayStation Three when they have these new consoles. They're gonna say no. I'm going to wait for it later. So I think they're making a big mistake with this. And I, I know as well, I'm probably not going to do this. You know, so they, I, I, what I'm hoping they're going to do is they're going to release, like they're going to announce that it's going to come out for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 later on this month or next month or whenever, because it's coming out on February the 18th of this year. And that only gives them a month and a week. So, Wow. Not much time, really. It's it's not, and hopefully they get their stuff together, and hopefully this game will be a good NASCAR game. Above all, you know, I don't I don't want it to be another. Um, wow, I mean I mean you know what I'm saying, guys. And you know I know I, you might think I'm overreacting on this, but I've been playing NASCAR games since I was like six, seven, five, and I have all the EA Sports NASCAR games all the way down to 2000 to 09. Now, with the newer NASCAR games, like NASCAR the Game, the franchise, I didn't get 2011 because I wasn't interested at the time. And then I said, okay, I'll give it a shot with Inside the Line. And I liked it. I liked it. And I'll give it another shot with 2014. But I want to see a NASCAR game on the new consoles. I don't want to go back to the 360, you know. Unless it's damn good. I mean, even if it's $50 because they down $10 on it, I'm still not going to do it. You know, I that's not enough to push me. You know, forty dollars would push me a little bit more. Maybe I would do, then maybe I'd see it. But you know, I I don't see it yet, guys. I mean, if you understand. And like I said, it should be easier for them to do this. And maybe they think they're going to lose money if they re release it for this. Now, this is the thing that bothers me. If they try to pull something like they did with NASCAR inside the line, like they released the PC version, um. A half a year later after the game was released for the 360 and the PS3. If they do that with the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 with this game, it's going to royally, I mean royally, piss me off. Really. I mean, there's. I don't think they should do that. And I really, I'm praying, I'm hoping that they announce that it's coming out for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 on the release date. I mean, maybe they're just teasing us and, may, and maybe they, they're, they're just making us think this. And so when they do announce this, we're going to get all excited. You know? I don't know, guys. But if you like the video, please like it, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.